Yep, there we go. Welcome, everyone, to Heroic Story and to our signature show, Bonfire, the fast-paced multiplayer word game for storytellers. I'm your host, Ron Ogden. They call me the Chronicle. You get it? I get it. I know you do. My co-host today is your Jin, who looks suspiciously like actor, writer, director Sandeep Parikh. Hello, yes. Jin. How are you today? Hello. Thank you. Thank you, Chronicle. Uh, I'm going to call you Cron. All right. For Chronicle. Cron. Right, Cron. That's what Cron-y. my mom called me. Cronny. Uh, <laughs> good. Good. Look, that's right. That's right. I'm. I. I. Though I very much look like the insanely talented, handsome guy that you mentioned, this Sandeep Parikh. I'm actually Eric Thar. The gin for the audience. Okay, so I will be submitting the audience answers and votes for the show at their behest. I am but a servant, chained to their whims. Their wishes are my command. So, if you're here from the Discord, if you're a word weaver, a pictomancer, if you're Iron Gate Guild, let's see some emotes because it turns out, okay, this is true fact, the re- real story, this is real. Okay, my sustenance is their participation. I will literally bleed out my core magic and crumble into desert dust if I don't see some emotes in chat. So that, that, that's the only way I'll survive. We definitely don't want that. So make sure you get those so, emotes in chat right now. Sustenance <clears throat> is needed. I, yeah, thank you. Oh, gosh. I was, it, was, it was getting dodgy there for a second, but then I saw some chairs. There's some hearts from No Rat. And yeah, yeah, very good. Very good. Okay, this is starting to bring me back. Thank you so much. I was getting a little squeamish there. All right. Uh, I have to tell you, my overlord, who the great and powerful and intimidatingly named Jay from Heroic Story, who used to sit in this seat, he he wishes me to uh, shout out the Heroic Story team for working hard behind the scenes and our partners at Windwalk and Effin' Funny, I've heard of them, and most importantly, our freaking awesome community. Heroic Story, for those of you who are new here, Heroic Story is a community that is building heroic worlds together. We run art and writing contests every week. We have a guild for creators to earn lucrative bounties. Yes, actual cash money. And we host free creative workshops. There's even a feline enforcer there named the Cat's Paw. And uh, also true fact, we used to date for like, it it fizzled out, but it was a thing. Anyway, you can find all this out at the Discord, discord discord.gg slash heroic story. I'm not done. I'm not done, Kron. Okay, there's more. Chat, we have added a mystifying and wondrous new te- technological invention. If you type command POA, so exclamation point POA, principal or, uh, orange alligator, okay? We have left instructions on how to connect your Twitch account to receive an airdropped digital collectible. This spectacular souvenir is called a POA, which means proof of attendance. So just by being here and hanging out, if you watch the stream long enough, we will drop airdrop this to you and it's totally free. Okay, so no funds are required to create this account. These POAs are just a small token of our gratitude to you for watching Bonfire and being an early supporter of this whole journey that we're on together, this, this heroic story. And a note from our developer team, I'm going to see this in lawyer voice. This is a uh, the first public test of your airdrop smart contract using testnet. The claiming and viewing process may not be what are you are used to seeing. If you experience any issues with claiming or viewing or would like to leave feedback, head to your Discord, to our Discord. That we'll was that well, well done, lawyer voice. You definitely Thank got you. it down. It was, Thank it you. was, you can speed it up a little bit, but mostly good job. Good I know job. I'm not quite micro machines level, but I'm getting I don't it. know that anyone is. That was, <laughs> that's a dial back in WoW. I, I, I don't know if I've, heard that in a long time well heroic story is a community of fantasy storytellers and we have assembled to create a brand new realm together it's time to part the veil of reality and for all of us to enter fortunata fortunata the land of many cities where empires war and dark magic lures the brave to the mountain ringed desert basin long ago in the time of the nameless kingdom a great civilization of mystics ruled our realm. They created enormous wonders, but their pursuit of arcane powers unleashed great evil upon the world, and their civilization was lost, swallowed up by the desert of no return. Now, a great game is played across Fortunata between the four empires, each vying for control of the treasures and objects of power sleeping beneath the sands. 
looting the desert is the path to fortune and objects of power, or a meeting with death, madness, or worse. What you're about to witness is a beta test of our game show, Bonfire. In Bonfire, storytellers will have seven rounds where they compete against each other and you, the live audience, to build an epic story. So, who are the mere mortals who dare enter the Bonfire Circle, armed with their nothing but their wits, imaginations, keyboards, and the sheer audacity to go up against you in chat? Well, let's meet them now. First up, welcome to Bonfire, Trisha Hirschberger. Trisha Hirschberger is a television host who specializes in tech, video games, and fandom pop culture. You may have seen her on IGN, Twitch Gaming, Amazon, or back in the day on a little channel called SourceFed. Welcome to Bonfire, Trisha. Say hi to chat, and quickly, tell me why you feel like you're worthy of victory this evening. Is Trish on mute? Trisha's take two, take two. Take two, hold on. Can't hear you, Trisha. <laughs> but we can see your enthusiasm. And it's yes, very definitely enthusiastic. see her enthusiasm. <laughs> I could try to act, I could try to voice over what she's trying to say. No, we cannot hear you now. All right. We'll come back to you. We'll come back to you. All right, in, in player two seat is Jordan Coleman. Jordan Coleman is a Houston, Texas native now residing in Los Angeles. When he isn't making up funnies with his fellow improvisers, you can see him in shows such as ABC's A Million Little Things and FX's Snowfall. Welcome, Jordan. Say hello to chat and quickly also tell me why you will be the top storyteller this evening. Uh-oh. Now I think uh -oh. it's not a Trisha problem. Now I think it's us. Think can't hear Jordan either. <laughs> we apologize. As I have said earlier and many times before, if you watched us here on Bonfire, but, we oh, are still playtesting. You, you can oh, hear me now? Can yeah. hear you now. Yes, Hello, Jordan. Fantastic, yes, we've got at least fantastic. one person working. That was just a little sleight of hand. You could actually hear me the whole time. I was just mouthing that. That's not true, but you don't even know if it is or it isn't. <laughs> I deserve to win this evening because... I'm going to pull from my brain just magic and mysticism that will hopefully leave literally everyone spellbound. And uh, I just, I feel like that's worth the W. That is a strong start. I'm so excited, Jordan. That's the kind of confidence I like to see in this game. So let's yeah. move to player three, Joseph Scrimshaw. Joseph Scrimshaw is a writer, comedian, and podcaster. His writing and credits include Rift Tracks, Adult Swim's Tig Tone, and this very bio. Welcome, Joseph. Please say hi to Chad and quickly why you feel like you're worthy of victory this evening. I feel like I, I feel like somebody's is, playing a joke on me. I think it's a now I've, it's a practical joke. <laughs> Third time's a charm. How did it? Uh, how okay, did you can you hear me? Now, now we can hear you. There, there we go. Is. Excellent, excellent. I opened my mouth and then something appeared on my screen that said the director has muted you. I feel I was cursed um, by a digital wizard. <laughs> yes, we're being attacked already pre-show. This is unfair. Already unfair. <laughs> it's horrible. Why do you think you're going to be the winner tonight, Joseph? Ah, well, the answer to that is quite simple. Uh, I have a small wooden sword from medieval times. With the price right. tag still on it. Fresh I might that. return it the next time I go back. Is it open? I don't even know. Okay. So it's from well, the that's... restaurant, not medieval times. Oh, it's from medieval times. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Both. Okay. Got you. <laughs> well, I like that confidence. Let's see if we can go back to player one, Trisha Hirschberger. Trisha, how are you doing this evening? I still don't hear Trisha. I still don't hear Trisha either. Wow. There you ah, are. There you are. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Now we can. Amazing. Oh, I'm so happy uh, to be heard now. Um, I was very enthusiastically also shouting out the dungeon run since Ron is here. Uh, running you. us through this beautiful story. Um, but I guess I think that I should win because everybody needs a little more positivity in their life and I will bring that to the stream. 
<laughs> That's something I know I can always rely on you for a good positivity <laughs> in my life. So thank you for being here, Trisha. It's an honor. And thank you for calling out the dungeon run. I appreciate that. All right. <laughs> Player four is all of you, chat. So let's check out to see why you believe that you will win this evening. Oh, Let me hear it in chat, chat a little bit. Let's talk about it. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know that they're not even talking smack quite just yet. But I, I want, yeah, I want to see the chat smack talking. Seriously. I see so many familiar names in chat. Hi, friends. I, I just need to call out KP Dub seventy one. Iraq Thar is my favorite, so I'm already <laughs> on good terms with uh, that oh, fellow. For sure. Fantastic. <laughs> I was asked the how much I was taken for my learning. sword. Because a bleeding Irish okay. says, because chat is all that. So That's there's right. a rhyme, and there's a right. lot of rhyming games you're about to play. So I feel like okay. chat's already gonna have a leg up there. Yeah, clearly, like you guys are in trouble. Okay, this is a, this this chat is uh, they're ready to go. Well, from one of the four of you, a winner will be chosen and gifted an ember from the flame imperishable. There it, there it is. There it is. Oh, it. look at that. It's, oh, is that the, it right there? Is it the, the ah. little Legend of Zelda thing by your ear? It is. Nice. It's this fire right here that's in my hand. It's really there. <laughs> it's oh, really wow. There. Sorcery. <laughs> How is it Did you know I'm funny? also part time sorcerer? <laughs> <laughs> well, today we're going to build a story lore for the world of Fortunata. But first, we need a story spark a character and an inciting incident that comes to us from our incredible artists and writers in our Heroic Story Discord. This week, meet Talia. She is a master of disguise and is given a mission to gather magical components to resurrect her Lord's dead daughter. One of them is known to be in the bustling trading hub, Iron Gate, where our story will take place. The art was created by our weekly art contest winner, Cool Blue BTH. And the inciting incident comes from our writing contest winner, Amy. <laughs> excuse me. Players nice. and chat based upon what you see. Uh, excuse me. All right. So players and chat, I need a couple of adjectives to describe Talia. We see the picture here. One word or a short phrase of a flaw or some adjective that would describe Talia's character. If you'll throw a couple at me, I'll make a record and I'll choose one or two of them as they're being told to me. Yes, this is a, this is outside of the round, so you guys can just shout them out what you think. Mm. Just she looks you. fierce. Ooh, fierce, I like fierce. fierce. Yes, uh, pro fire. Pro fire, pro fire. <laughs> as opposed to those those darn anti fire people. Who like anti -fire being people comfortable. Those look like fuzzy slippers. Ah, comfortable. Okay, Doesn't strike me as a hug. I'm gonna give you some from chat. Okay, there's. Uh, All right. we got good looking, confident from ragu sauce. Ooh, confident. Uh, mysterious, cunning, flamboyant, good taste in shoes. Okay, so Krantz is on the same page as Trisha there. A bit of a klepto, strong eyebrows, <laughs> insecure, <laughs> walks with a limp. I guess going for a, that's kind of cool, going for like a flaw, you know, yeah. the, the thing that she's got to overcome. All right, I've made some decisions. I think I like it. She's fierce and confident, but she has fierce. a bit of a limp. Ooh, okay, mm. but a physical nice. ailment. Okay. Physical ailment. Kind. I also think her eyebrows are stuck like that. That's not a choice. <laughs> <laughs> built in, built in. Mm -hmm. Now, I bet you're wondering, dear storytellers, how do I play this bonfire you speak of? So here's how the rounds work. Each round corresponds to one spot on the hero's journey and will result in one phrase that will be cemented into the story. Each round consists of two phases. First, the nomination phase. I'll provide a specific prompt with the rules of the player's entries, and each player and the audience will have 120 seconds to submit. Then we'll move to the voting phase. Each of the players will now have the opportunity to cast a single vote for their favorite entry. You cannot vote for your own entry, so keep that in mind. The winner of the round gets 50 points for every vote they get. And in case you want to get clever and vote for a bad one so yours has a better chance of winning, well, don't. Because you also get 40 points if you choose the winning answer. Since there are four players, ties will be decided by yours truly, the Chronicle. It's really the only power I have. So I'm going to use it. 
No, oh, come on. You've got that, that voice is power alone. <laughs> that is oh, power. Stop it. That ponytail power. looks pretty powerful, too. Oh, thank stop you. selling your short self <laughs> short, Kron. <laughs> I will. All I right. will stop selling myself short. While I'm talking, I'll segue into this thing that I'm going to say. <laughs> My overlords wish to remind us all that at the end of the game, we're going to turn this story into a one of one digital collectible a fortune out of origin, a rare and legendary card that will be up for auction. So, for more information on the auction, join the Heroic Story Discord, and you can check out that little link right in chat right now. All right. Those are the sacred written in stone rules that I'm sure are going to change next week. But for now, let the bonfire begin. Ooh. All right. Here's a reminder before we get into round one. Talia is a master of disguise and is given a mission to gather magical components to resurrect her lord's dead daughter. One of them is known to be in the bustling trading hub of Iron Gate, where our story will take place. Storytellers, you will have 120 seconds to come up with how this story starts, where the episode begins, what is Talia's status quo, their ordinary world. We need your most creative response in six words. Your 120 seconds starts right now. All right, audience. This is where I need you to feed me. I'm thirsting for your answers, your six word answers. So please drop them in chat so we can take down these, uh, these ne'er-do-wells. Let's see what we got. I think they're thinking. Kron, they're thinking. It takes a little time, you know. They got 120 takes a, seconds. Takes a moment. Uh, oh, I got a good one from Selim already. already. Oh, Trisha is a first player across the finish line. Congratulations, Trisha! Quick with those Thank uh, you. keyboard fingers. Yeah, quick on the draw on there. Well done. I just went with it. You just went with what was first. Now keep in mind, yeah. you can resubmit if you think of something stronger in the 80 okay. seconds that you have left. Okay. Joseph, you're oh, also Jay in. Rot's got a good one in there. There's some good ones coming in now. They're coming in hot and fast. Oh, JK Gamer fan, nice. Joseph, I hear that you don't like to be called Joe. Is that true? That is true. I prefer Joseph. Okay. Well, I will make sure to call you Joseph, but if you start to lose, I may slip a Joe in or two. Okay. He's warning you. Wow. <laughs> As good a to motivation. Know. Is there, is there motivation. anything you don't like to be called? <laughs> uh, yeah. You can call me anything other than Chronicle, and I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. No, you can call me Ronnie. Ronnie is okay. uh, is a name I don't necessarily like all that much. How about so? If Ronnie? I start to lose, you can do the same. Okay. <laughs> oh, there are some good ones in chat here. I know there's some good stuff. Ragu Sauce just dropped one here. Remember, six words. Oh, that is six words. Just, it, those were long words, so it threw me. Jordan, I believe you have to resubmit. Oh no. I forgot what I said. I gotta. I'll think about it. You got fifteen seconds. I changed my answer at the last second. Well done, Trisha. Well done. Five seconds, and that is the round. We've got three responses. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Jordan. I don't think yours was oh, able to I get in. I got in. Time. Oh, mm. man. All right, number All right. one. Trading for magic shoe, neutralize limp. Number two, starts fires for sport and fun. And number three, the home of dragons and demons. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. All right, so this is our status quo. Where's What is Talia's ordinary world? I like, uh, some of these I like, the home of dragons and demons. Maybe that's a new thing that we are learning from Iron Gate. Is yes, that this is the it's home a, of dragons and demons? It's more about the locale than it is about uh, her actual, you know, her sp specific experience. Indeed. Um, well, you know, storytellers, course, you can I cast have a your favorite. I can't say what it is because that's the audience. You don't want to influence. <laughs> you can't give it away. But I do like these other two. <laughs> I mean, that she's just a pyromaniac is kind of a fun idea there. And then, you know, using, I'm going to try to remain neutral. Uh, and not give away which one's the audience's answer. But you know what? Uh, the the trading for a magic shoe, right? Like we're we're going right into that flaw. We're we're right. addressing it right off the top. It's like a callback right. right off the top. I like that. Yep. It's a it's an so, interesting way to, to solve strong. the ordinary world for sure. And then I'm sure Story. Jordan's was great. I'm sure oh, it was so really good. good. 
It was <laughs> man, the computer it glitched. That's how good it was. It was too I good tried for to vote for Jordans. I I tried to find the the the, the voting button to vote for Jordans. Well, story tales, make sure you do cast your votes. Thanks, audience, thanks, you too. Drop your vote into chat. Reminder, including you, audience, you cannot vote for yourself. We're throwing we're throwing up a, a Twitch poll. Sorry, we got a little slow on the connection there, but a Twitch poll is going to come up. So you guys will be voting literally when the poll comes up. But thank you for your pre-votes that are dropping in there. And remember, we can't vote for our own. And you guys know which that is, but the players don't. Yes, yes. Should be up soon, shortly. There it comes. There's a poll in Twitch at this very moment. You must choose between one of those two. Make sure you get oh. your votes in, audience. Make sure you oh, get your voice is, heard. Is, hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. I did not expect this from the audience, but they're leading they feel very in strong. one direction. Yeah, they feel very strongly. Eight to one right now. Oh, Ten wow. to one. Wow. Whoa. Can we see what the audience is voting, or is it just a surprise for us? It should, it should be, be a surprise, surprise for, you for you, because otherwise it would give away which one is the audience's answer. Right. Oh, I see. You. Okay. I'm intentionally not looking at chat. I'm sorry. I'm not ignoring y'all on purpose. <laughs> I know. This is a weird, weird format for us streamers, right? <laughs> Indeed. Okay. I think it's very clear which way, way the audience yes. wants to go, so I'm going to submit the vote for them. I will do thy bidding, audience. All right. Hmm. We've got all the votes in. Let's see the results. And the winner for Ooh. round one is that girl, Trish. Ooh. With the winning answer of the home of dragons and demons. That was good. Trish, King, uh, Jordan, Joseph, and the audience all voted for you. Ooh, I, I fleshed out Iron Gate a little bit more for us. So <laughs> Absolutely right. Talia needs to find a magical component within Iron Gate, the home of dragons and demons. It's a rough place. <laughs> I like it. I like where it's going. It's a strong start. I expect I will say this, nothing Trisha. less from you. I will say this. you, The audience overwhelmingly voted in your favor. Overwhelmingly. So clearly Amazing. you're onto something by setting the stage. Buckle up, everybody! It's gonna be it's gonna be a dangerous and dark fantasy story. I don't have a seatbelt on my That's chair. <laughs> <laughs> well, buckle up, because Trisha, as the round winner, you will have to come up with a sound effect, noise, or short phrase of dialogue that will be a marker or identifier for this round when I do the recap. So, are you ready? Sure. All right, I'm going to recap the the uh, score, and then I'll do a recap of the story, and then I'm waiting for you. When we get to the home of dragons and demons, I will expect your sound effect noise or short phrase of dialogue. So in the lead, Trisha with 150 points and a three-way tie for second and third between Joseph, Jordan, and the audience, each with 40 points. All right, so we are Meet Talia. She's a master of disguise and is given a mission to gather magical components. One of them is known to be in the bustling trading hub of Iron Gate. And we now know that Iron Gate is the home of dragons and demons. It is a dangerous place. Ooh, I like that. Well done. <laughs> I like that already. All right. It's time we'll to move right into fire. round two. Round two is the heart's desire. Ooh. You're going to get 120 seconds to tell me what it is that Talia wants in this moment, what they need. What is it that drives them besides their daughter, the, the magical components of their daughter's death? What is their true want and need inside? The caveat is it's an acronym round. Your acronym mm. for this round is HUNT. So I'll expect your first word to begin with H, your second with U, your third with N, and your final word with T, a four-word answer. 120 seconds. Storytellers, it starts right now. All right, audience. You heard the cron. We need to get this answer. We gotta get we gotta come back from that last round. Uh, so I need your best, your brightest, your your, your the best ideas you've got. Of course, in this very specific format. 
<laughs> in this so very we'll rule we'll set. <laughs> SDS, that's pretty great. Uh, that's pretty great. That I can't call good. it. It's hard. I can't call these out because then it gives away if that becomes right. the actual answer. Yep. You know? exactly. uh, but okay. So what do we know so far? We know, uh, you know, Talia is. She's got this job. She's hunting for this 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 component, this magical item in this city that we now know is a home of dragons and demons. The monks being a trading hub. So there's a lot going on. It's a bustling marketplace, I guess, full of dragon shoppers. <laughs> trading. <laughs> She's trading. also a master of disguise, and we haven't oh, yes. really defined whether that means they are just really good at ma making themselves up and dressing well, or if it's a magical ability. And does that, that, really that speak to our heart's desire somehow? Maybe. You know, the, 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 her ability, does, does she wish to be a person remain that she's not? Yeah, maybe she wants to remain hidden. Oh, some good ones coming in now, all right. Oh yeah, look at that. Neuralis in the audience. Hello, Neuralis. Let's see. Let's see how our players, let's check in with that. Trisha, uh, the first across the finish line again. Ooh, you are on the ball today. That's the best. I just, I, <laughs> whatever came out of my brain just went in. Well, all right, all right. Joseph, you were second. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, those were four words that I liked typing. I don't know right. if they go together, but I enjoyed typing them. <laughs> and Jordan, you also got yours in. How are you feeling? I said stuff, and we'll see how people feel about it. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope it's magical stuff, because we're about to find out. All right. Number one, hunting under night things. Number two, have unusual needs taken. Number three, hex unearthed new troubles. And number four, heartless underneath nighttime. It was the heart's desire. What is it that Talia most desires deep in their heart? It's now time to vote. So make sure you get your votes in. And make sure you also get your votes in, audience. We'll start a poll think, very soon. Get yours in. I think this was a tough, this was a really tough acronym for people. It was. It was. Oh, I see one I, that I would have chosen, but I think uh, it came in too late, sadly. Are we allowed to comment on them, or does that give yes. away too much? Oh, absolutely. No, feel, feel free. I like whoever put uh, number four must be a Kingdom Hearts player. <laughs> Throwing out a heartless <laughs> reference, and I appreciate that. Yeah, we, we treat this a lot like uh, if you've ever played the game Apples to Apples. Uh, it's up to you to whether you want to uh, out your answer or not. But you, oh. I might say, uh, <clears throat> play to your judges. Just saying. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think that's smart, too. Because I remember, like, there uh... are ties, and I decide them, so. <laughs> <laughs> I like the volume of night things. Uh, look, we're, we're going to uh, Demons and Dragons place. Uh, right? I, maybe it's always night in Iron It Cake. makes a lot of sense, yeah. yeah. Well, there's and, just lots of shade. <laughs> or there are sunny. so many dragons and demons that th it's just perpetually night because it's of their shade. Ooh. It's a lot of the, the flight patterns are just okay. overwhelming the sky. <laughs> a cloud of dragons. Uh, the, I just want to let everybody know that the poll is up in chat, and it is a Indeed. oh, it's a it's a dog race there. It's it's a tight race. I don't know if that's a, that's the phrase. It's a dog race. <laughs> yeah, dog races are a thing. It's I think that's okay. Thing, but does that, yeah. does that mean it's, it's a dog nose race? to nose, butt to butt? Wieners are running. It's a dog race. <laughs> it's a real dog race in there. <laughs> oh wait, now, okay. Now I have oh, they're running away with it now. I, I can see a clear winner coming up here. It's going to be a tough road to toe for the other answers. All right, I think I'm going to vote for what we got. Here we go. Audience all right. has made their submission. All, no, I do the, their bidding. all the votes are in. Let's see the results. Whoa. Winner of the round is Whoa. that girl Trish Whoa. with Hex Unearthed Now tr New Troubles. Man. And Are you kidding me? 100 points for it you, is. Trish. King Cole and, uh, excuse me, Jordan and Joseph, you both also get 40 points for choosing the correct oh. answer. I love getting points. Well done. <laughs> Trish, tell me what you were thinking when you decided to submit this answer so quickly. I might um, well, uh, you know, I was trying to fit the <laughs> letters that I needed to fit, but also uh, I thought that maybe... Tally is dealing with some kind of hex that was placed on her. Um, and so she's simultaneously, yes, working for her her lord to help him resurrect, 
uh, his dead daughter, but also trying to cure an issue that she's been plagued with herself. I like that. So she has to see, she's already searching for components. So now she's got another set of components that she has to search for. Well done. All right, as normal, you will have to come up with a short phrase, a sound effect, or a line of dialogue when I recap, which will be right now. So after our second round, in the lead, that girl Trish with 250 points in a two-way tie for second and third between King Cole and Joseph. Jordan and Joseph, two-way tie, 80 points each for you. Audience, you're losing this evening. You're currently losing with 40 points. I feel like I'm failing them. And I'm sorry, audience. I'll do better. All I right. To, I just want to point out real quick, Kron. Yeah, of course. The audience poll ended. They they did not vote for Trish's, okay? They voted for the first answer, which is hunting under night things. Who, whose was that? That was, uh, that, was, that was mean. Oh, Joseph. That was Joseph. Yeah, Joseph. Was Joseph. You got 69% of the vote is all I'm saying. Nice. Like, I have to, to say that, right? Whatever. On the internet, you said those numbers. I have to say nice. I am That's compelled. Nice. You've, done the, you've, you've, you've fulfilled your duty to the internet. Nice. All right, let's recap. Talia is a master of disguise and has given a mission to gather magical components to help her dead lord's dead daughter, excuse me, resurrect her lord's dead daughter. One of them is the bustling trading hub of Iron Gate where our story will take place. She's fierce and confident, but has a bit of a limp. And we learn that Iron Gate is the home of dragons and demons. It is a dangerous place. And we learn that Talia wants the hex to be removed so, uh, and it unearths new troubles. She's constantly underwater. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. All right. <laughs> lovely, limp and lovely. a lisp. So pruning. <laughs> she must be pruning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to move into round three, an unfamiliar situation. This is when we introduce the antagonist or the main obstacle in our hero's path. So you're going to get 120 seconds, but it's time for a rhyme time. You're going to get six words, but there must be a single rhyme in those six words. 120 seconds. Introduce the antagonist or the major obstacle in the hero's path. Your 120 seconds starts right now. All right, audience. I, I will serve thee better, I promise you. I, I Just please, uh, don't lash me, but I, I think we can come back from this. Look, we're, we're clearly not in the lead. We're in the opposite of the lead, which is kind of a bummer, but uh, we're, we're going to do this. We're going to come back with a vengeance. So I need some rhymes. I need your best rhyming brains, your best M and M's. Your <laughs> well, the Jay-Z real some shady, there. please Let's stand go. Mm, now keep in mind, we are in the Iron Gate. We've learned that it is the city of demons and dragons, and she's looking for some components. Keep that all in mind when you introduce your antagonist, the main obstacle. Joseph, you're the first one across the finish line this time. You seem like you really got this one. You are are you a strong rhymer? Is rhyming a, is one of your strengths? Uh, uh no. Uh, but I just felt <laughs> inspired. I thought All of right. one word, and then I thought of another word that sounded like it, and it worked out the first time for me, which it All normally right. doesn't when it comes All to right. rhyming. Well, you lucked out this time, then. Trish, uh, Doctor Devin is submitted. There's some good stuff coming in. Oh, Trish, right. I don't know that I've heard you rhyme before. Are you a good? Are you good at rhyming? Is rhyming a good skill that you have? I mean, like freestyle rap is not something I would list on the special skills on my resume. Um, but right. I read a lot of Dr. Seuss to my five-year-old. So, uh, so your rhyme the, that part of your brain is well exercised. Chat with <laughs> with, <hope>. with time <laughs> dwindling. If you see an answer that isn't even isn't yours in chat, and and you want to nominate it or say that that's one's great that helps me decide what to put well, you've got 15 seconds Arakthar. you better hurry up with you I'm and your audience i have a couple things in there we'll see if it can be topped <laughs> all right it's time for the voting phase make sure you get your votes in 
You two audience, number one, the Draconic Fire creates dangerous pyres. Demon has component, Narvoth's her opponent. Ooh. <laughs> I like that. Somebody invented a person, uh, a, an I mean, antagonist. Well done. Warlocks and Hamhawks reign from above. <laughs> Talia must fight Mr. Dragon Wagon. <laughs> Mr. Dragon <laughs> Mr. Dragon Wagon. <laughs> we all know him. We all love well him. Done. Just because it's the funniest punchline doesn't mean it should win, is all I'm saying. Okay? That's correct. Look, Keep in mind, we are, up. we are telling a, ser a, a serious story. We do want a story here, but uh, Dragon Wagon still sounds pretty serious to me as well. So it does. I'll, I'll give I it just that. want to point out, this is the first time in our uh, brief history of doing the rhyme time that we've had a three-syllable word rhymed. I mm. believe. Demon has component, Narvath's her opponent. That's that's kind of cool. That's the awesome. though. Very good. It also ties into our home of demons and dragons uh, and into the, the inciting incidents. So it is a very strong one, in my opinion. It's number got two. A lot going on. Got and I'm really just on. trying to vote for whichever one Trish wrote so she can make all the sound effects when we're done with the story. <laughs> <laughs> just a one woman show that should go straight to Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Wagon. Yeah, Zulam, I, I hear you. Zulam disagrees. Dragon oh, wow. Wagon all the way. Is, is neck and neck. Those dogs are racing still. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you. Audience, make sure you get your votes in on the poll in chat. It's neck and neck, and it, well, you could be the one me. vote that swings it. So. Oh, wow. Which Chihuahua will sneak their nose across the finish line in the dog race? I feel like Joseph has been to some different dog races. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> Chihuahuas, wiener dogs. Chihuahuas. Stop the border, I think. Toy cup poodles. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not the ones you think. Rottweilers, pit bulls. Uh, I like the small erotic do dogs reason. for some mysterious reason. I don't know why. It works. Oh, Red foxes. Red foxes. <laughs> All right. Our votes are in. Let's see who wins it. The winner of round three is a tie. It's no. a four-way tie. It is a four-way tie. We've had this happen before. That means Whoa. everyone basically voted for the person to their left. So <laughs> all, everyone voted for someone else equally. Now it's up to me. This is where we get to play a little bit of play to your judge. So, Trisha, I'm going to go to you first. Okay. Which one of these do you think is the strongest? I really like this three syllable rhyme. Mm. And I liked that it tied in, we were looking for the magic component and I like that it named our opponent. That was cool too. So we assume that Narvoth then is the name of the demon. I Yeah, I guess All so. Right. All right, all right. Okay, well, Jordan? Yes. Uh, what about you? What do you think strongest? For me personally, uh, the one that said warlocks and ham hocks. If I can break this down just a little bit, just please by all means. My brain. If warlocks and ham hocks are raining from above, we can only deduce from that that this antagonist can control the weather and may or may not be a warlock. I don't know, but there is some magic, and as I said before, mysticism. I got Definitely. it. I love it. And, you, and I love that you're borrowing heavily from a cloudy with a chance of meatballs. That is always a good idea, for <laughs> but sure. Like a spooky version. But, but like a spooky version, right? Because warlocks are also raining down, and that's just crazy. I agree. Yeah. I agree. All right, Joseph, what about you? Which one is the strongest here? Uh, I, I like them all, but I am going to be up at night, unable to sleep, if we never figure out if Mr. Dragon Wagon is an actual wagon or a dragon that has a wagon. If we don't or a know merchant the answer to with that. dragons. Yeah, how are we ever going to sleep if we don't know? All right, all right. Arakthar, I'm going to ask you, what do you think? Which one's strongest I mean, I think, here? Listen, I'm just going to out the audience right now. Number two, Demon has component, Narva has her opponent. Uh, Trisha said it all. And, uh, you know, you can't, I just think it can't be topped. It's not even close all right. on this round. That's I... my. Uh, not so humble opinion. About I happen to agree with you and Trisha that that is the strongest choice on the board here. So the winner is Demon has component, Narvoth's her opponent. Yes. Excellent work, audience. Yes, we did it. 
Finally. Very good. Very good. Who was it? Who's was And it? that means winner is the audience with Demon wow. has component Narvas, her oh. opponent. Trisha and I both voted wow. for the audience, and they wow. are the winners. Okay. All right, so Arakthar, I believe you are going to stand in for the audience here when it's time for the recap sound effect noise or, or line of dialogue. So nice. after our third round in the lead still, Trisha with 290 points. In second place now, the audience with 140 and in third, a tie between Joseph and Jordan for okay. third. Joseph, we All are right. coming for each other. We are. <laughs> we, we got we to get in our dog race. Got equals, to, man. equals like none other. All right. It's time to recap. Meet Talia. She's a master of disguise, and she's on a mission to gather components. And she just so happens to be in Iron Gate. Well, she's fierce, confident, and has a bit of a limp. And we learn that Iron Gate is the home of dragons and demons. It is a dangerous place. We also learn that she's got a hex and her deepest desire is to get rid of it, but it unearths new troubles. She can only talk like this. And now an unfamiliar situation arises when the demon has component, Narvoth's her opponent. If you want this, come and get it. <laughs> all right all right all right it's halftime it's now time for a brief intermission where the players can take a little bio break they can stretch their legs down some performance enhancing mushroom tea and where we get to check in on the auction for the nft we generated last week you'll recall that last week we created a story about the dragon lord at the yes. dawn of creation to oh i apologize Oh, I jumped I the gun. Jump. I apologize. You jumped. You jumped my gun. This I jumped your gun. I apologize. I'm so excited. It's okay. It's, it's very well. I'll tell you why this is exciting. I think this is one of the first times that we've had kind of a bidding war really Ooh. going on before the show, which is really cool. There's been uh, at least three bids, I, I, and um, look, this is really exciting. Uh, I, I think. Listen. Dragon Lord may be my favorite character that we've generated thus far, so it doesn't surprise me. I mean, this guy's badass. Look at him. Look at that bare chest. Those I pecs. Ripped. And that, like, 74-pack <laughs> that he has over his abs. Very glorious. But, yeah, so you too can jump in and actually uh, bid on this right now. If you have a, a, a Ethereum wallet or uh, any other way to uh, spend some crypto, this is, this is the time where you could own this piece of fortune out of lore if you wish to bid. And uh, the, if that happens, if that happens, then the bid gets extended by 10 minutes. If not, it's gonna end right now with one minute and 31 seconds left. You see the, the winner, winner right here. I don't believe that I can actually, the winner is unnamed and just has a long string of, <laughs> you know, a long, uh, crazy string of text as their, as their username. So I can't really say who that will be, but um, you know, they're in there right now for 0 0.105 Ethereum pretty cool it is yes oh uh, so chronicle uh, yes. why, don't, why don't you uh, fill everybody in now you can jump the gun and tell us now what, i what can jump says the on the back of this card the, the story <laughs> that we created last week and, and the story uh, for last week was about the dragon lord at the dawn of creation two gods were born the dragon lord and the winged queen of thunder hearts woven together by the wing beat of time lord sacrificed fighting for family but moon eaters attack and endanger the realm so sword must be swung once again. The Moon Eaters unleash disastrous devils. Mystical waters are muddied. Despite wandering eye, the queen's wings fill the sky, saving her family's future. Thunder and Lord make powerful horde. Dragons are better together. I think I'm gonna get that Such tattoo. Dragons are better together. I feel like that's just a <laughs> sweet, sweet lesson. And it would have to be this dragon lord too. Like you get just on your, you know, like right here over your heart, you know, and just dragons better together. <laughs> Absolutely. And then I'll sell that my a picture of my tattoo as the, as right. the NFT. Right. As the as um, the, right another NFT. <laughs> so, check it out in Discord as well. If you have questions about the NFT and how it's being created, and and you know, a lot of people have questions about it, so we have a nice little uh, FAQ for you to check out. Um, and then remember, you guys can all get a free NFT right now. 
So if you put command POA for your proof of attendance and then follow the steps there, we, you will then get airdropped your own free NFT. We don't know yet what the utility is going to be. We're going to do some cool stuff, I believe, in the server that may lock some powers for, me, for you um, within the Discord server. So that's yet to Just be determined, but this is the uh, sort of... Feels the, like it's a digital ticket stub so that you exactly. can prove that you were here. And I think that will be helpful in the future for sure. That's right. Uh, also, players, if you are watching, that's exactly somewhat what I, the one you're creating this evening will look like as well. Obviously, art will be of uh, of Talia, and the story will be different based on when we finish the game, but it will look similar to the one that you see here. I didn't realize this. KP Dubs in chat is saying a group of dragons is known as a thunder. Ooh. Did you know that? I did not. You know how they all have like those group names, like uh, uh, right. One of my favorites, you know, uh, an unkindness of ravens. Oh, a murder of crows. Murder of crows, right? Of course, uh, it's classic. A tower of giraffes is another Ooh. one. <laughs> I like that one. A herd of buffalo. That's Thunder just normal. Of dragons. All right. So it looks like. Oh, did it? Did, yes, it's the, the, the bid is done. I mean, the, the auction is completed. Did it finish? Winner. Yes, it did. That is the winner. Congratulations. That long string of numbers <laughs> and letters. Right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know who you are. Congratulations. You now own an origin of Fortunata. Very cool. All right. Now it's time to return to our game show bonfire it's time for round four it's the darkness descends but it's also time to add fuel to the fire that means it's the wager round for this round you can now wager any amount of points that you have earned players you'll submit your answers and vote as usual scoring will happen as usual then you get the bonus for your wager if you win but if you lose they go bye-bye Storytellers, you'll have the option to not wager anything during this round, too. Just make sure that you enter a wager of zero if that's what you choose. The Darkness Descends is a word cap of five words. This is the in, this is the uh, enemy, the arch, excuse me. This is our protagonist's event. This is when they move the storyline by unfailing their own plan their event against our hero you will describe it in the darkness descends yes five words I, 120 I need seconds to know what the audience wants to be oh yes so i mean i can see people chatting but we're going to throw up a poll again so we can get a real clear answer so please vote in that poll now should we go all in should we go half in a quarter in, in? Or is Every, <laughs> everyone's not screaming all. all, like yes, they're on the yeah. stock market floor. Go for yeah. it, That's chat! Right. You can good. vote in the, at the top of the chat. So for all of you streaming all in, click that vote button. Let us know. Looking pretty obvious, though. There's some the folks that want to go half. Interestingly, Doctor Delvin Most says, "Buy members. orange juice, sell pork bellies, <laughs> and ham hocks, <laughs> and and warlocks." Okay, I think clearly they want to go all in. Uh, it does look that way. Right. Let the ham hocks <laughs> ring. Can you wager ham hocks? Of course you can. Chat. <laughs> oh, uh, Mike C Ooh. puts it well. That's how we lost last week by betting it all. So, a word of caution coming from uh, from Mike C fifty six. Well done, Mike. Remind you know we are we're doing pretty well now. Right, well, we got 140, second place. Hey, you guys can actually spend your channel points to double vote, triple vote if you want. So if you feel Can we go ahead and, and submit as well? <laughs> okay. Gotcha. All right. All right. <laughs> Ragu sauce with some honesty there. Yeah, who who truly, yes. who learns from their mistakes? Yeah, That's what storytelling's about, Lips. whether someone does or not, right? A character grows or it doesn't. That's the interesting thing to watch. 
All right, all of our wagered points are in. It's time for round four. The darkness descends. It's another word cap. Five words, 120 seconds. It starts right now. All right, audience. We got this. Five words. Listen, I'm not... Uh, you know, we, we just went all in, so we got to get... We got to come some real good right here. We need your juiciest take on the darkness descending. What a is, reminder uh, that Atalia is a fierce confident with a limp and that our antagonist is a demon known as Narvoth. Yes, Narvoth. What's Narvoth up to? No How good is, is my guess. Demon this is one things. of those moments where you need, you need, you know, your antagonist to really nail, like... Flesh themselves out. Yeah, flesh Make it very clear out. what they want. But also really bring our hero to their knees and really kind of, on a personal level, like the, the, the you know, what's the, what's the true flaw that they're going to expose, that they're going to attack? I think uh, that's the key to making a really good Darkness Descends entry. Jordan, you were the first player across the finish line this time. You feel like uh, it looks like you are very confident in this realm. Are you? Oh, are yeah, you I'm leaning back. Uh, I'm, I yeah. got my feet up. I see it. I see Talia is making moves in my head. And and just to clarify, is that an Iron Giant t-shirt you're wearing? It surely is. Can we be best friends? <laughs> I, Can I we please we be best were. friends? I, I was hoping we already were. Oh, okay. I didn't want to assume, but now we are. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Iron Giant, one of my favorites. Uh, Trisha, I see that you were second, um, mm -hmm. but you had, you you know, within 75 seconds left on the board. That's That's pretty quick. You feel like you know what the darkness is, huh? I mean, I went for it. I'm not sure that the right word is the one that I plucked out of the air. Uh, it came <laughs> down to like finding hinging on one specific word, but we'll see what happens. All right. That's all we can all do. Right. Joseph, how you feel it? Uh, I feel good. I feel like I engineered my answer correctly to make sure that Trisha wins. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, let's find out. It's time for the voting phase. Number one, demon now controls good leg. Number two, Demon cowers at Talia's blade. Number three, Narvoth swallows component must extract. And number four, Narvoth makes Talia a dragon. Ooh. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very honest here. Number three has got me intrigued. That has got me hooked. I wanna know that. Look, number one is pretty good too. I like number one because you know what? Who doesn't if Idle Hands? Anybody remember that movie? Idle Hands? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Idle leg. That's, I think, where, <laughs> that's, the that's where my brain goes. My yeah. uh, so I like number three. I, I guess you like a real, like, you, you like a good operation story, do you? <laughs> you really want to see some, <laughs> the follow-up seems pretty clear. Pretty clear. Right. <laughs> follow-up means we know where this story is going. <laughs> Inside Narvoth. That will be the title of our day. <laughs> well, see, we can always, right. We could, it doesn't have to be that you have to operate on Narvoth. You could shrink That's yourself true. down with magic and enter them in Ooh, through yeah. the mouth. You know what I mean? There's often, a bunch of ways source. to solve that problem. Yeah, yeah right. often in myth, it's about descending into the belly of the space. beast. You know? That's right. Literal. For into sure. the belly of the beast. Turn this oh, into a Jonah tale. A good reference. Yes, yes. I, I had a lot of good ones this round. I'll just say that. Um, there, I, there's some honorable mentions here. For sure. Chat, make oh, sure you get your votes at the top. Which answer you believe should win? While we wait for some uh, for, for the vote to close, um, you know we have uh, Narvoth hypnotizes Iron Gate Valkyries. Mm -hmm. Morales, I thought that was strong and close. Yeah. Um, let's see. There was another good one in here. But now I can't find. Oh yes, Narvoth feasts on daughter spirit, bringing in the dead daughter. That was another really Whoa. good one. Wow. That was dark. That's wow. Yeah. Look, for some reason we just haven't been focusing a lot on that dead daughter. I mean, it's so <laughs> it's such an uplifting story point. I, it I don't is. Know why we're not been talking about to get in the story. Just shift the story to that. <laughs> We've got a neck and neck tie, audience. Make sure you get your votes in. I'm sure there's oh, one wow. person out there that could decide it for everyone right now. Whoa. It's a real Ooh. puppy race in there. I tell oh, you. yeah. The Another puppy race. Loser, nose to nose. Go, little the shit. The Great zones. Danes Go. are making it around the track. <laughs> but they are very tired. They All right. The All the votes are in. <laughs> Let's see who wins it. Go. 
winner is Joseph Ooh. with Narvoth what? makes Talia a dragon. Wow. Yeah. That works. Joseph, I... Trish, and the audience both wagered, or excuse me, both voted for you, and you win one point for your wager. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing careful. Playing careful. So you were playing careful, but what what inspired you to have Narvoth turn Talia into a dragon? Uh, well, one of her defining things, right, is that she can uh, change her appearance. She's a master of disguise, right? Uh, yes. Well, uh, I thought it would be a villainous thing for somebody else to decide her appearance for her and have to have her fight back from that. Although right. uh, now I think maybe she should just, uh, you, is a dragon fly inside Narvoth? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of us. Well, no, perfect. Uh, well done. It, obviously, the the audience and your fellow players thought it was a strong choice. So congratulations on your win. A reminder, it will be your turn to make a sound effect, a noise, or a line of dialogue when I recap this particular round. All right, let's recap the, the score, then we'll do the round, and we'll move on to our next round. In the lead with 330 points still, Trisha. Congratulations. In second now, Joseph with 181 points. In third, the audience with 40. Uh, and I'm sorry to say, Jordan, you are in fourth with zero points. Oh, I have no points. Oh, you have no points. <laughs> wow. I know. You it's wow. We, uh, clearly it's... our lust for coin. Jordan, you, you wagered it all. You oh, I gave home. it up. I yep, gave you it win, up. You, you, win, you win in the paint, as they say. That's much. for sure. Hard. Hard. Hard in the paint. Hard in the yeah. paint there. Well, uh, it's still anyone's game. There's still plenty of rounds. And we're about to enter something different, uh, which I'll mention after I recap. Num All right, so meet Talia. She's a master of disguise and is given a mission to gather magical components in the town of Iron Gate, which we learn is the home of dragons and demons. It is a dangerous place. Talia, being fierce and confident, but a bit of a limp, is also hexed. And it has unearthed new troubles. She can only talk like this. An unfamiliar situation arises when the demon has component Narvoth's her opponent. Oh, you want this? Well, come and get it. And now ah. the darkness descends when Narvoth makes Talia a dragon. Well done, Joseph. Way well to done. stay consistent with Indeed. the hex. Indeed. <laughs> well done. Well done. Uh, <laughs> all right. It's time to activate hard mode. The game's complexity has increased. And as oh, wow. such players, you are given an additional 30 seconds to come up with your answers from here on out. We will now move to round five, where a, call, a callback results in a plan for Talia to deal with the darkness descending. She's now a dragon. She needs to deal with it. A callback results in a plan. It's a double points round. All points are doubled for the round. And you'll get 150 seconds, but it's an acronym round. And your acronym is VISAGE. Visage, V-I-S-A-G-E, six words, 150 seconds. It starts right now. Did you see that audience? I saw the fear in their eyes. I saw it flicker <laughs> to both Joseph and Trisha. I think we can do this. I know this is a difficult challenge, okay? These are six letters. One of them's a V, that's not fun, but I think you got this. Come on, so let's throw it in there. I know it's gonna take a minute. Now, keep in I'll mind, players, we are looking for a callback. That means use something from a previous round or the inciting incident that results in a plan. You got a G, so you can use Narvoth right there. I'm just throw mm -hmm. it out there as an idea. Indeed. I mean, there's so many things to call back from, you know, Gron, Grani. Yeah. Like there are. I mean, dragons simple. and demons, uh, the hex. You know, we haven't really learned too much about the hex yet uh, or the components. Oh, or what um, the component is. Or what the components are. Right. We, and and Trisha, in round two, introduced that the hex is another search for a different set of components. So it's it's sort of two two birds, one scone, as I like to say. Ah. That's a very... It's a little less violent, you know? <laughs> That's right. So you're, just, you're feeding the birds in that. Right. Exactly. Way. You're just feeding them. 
Yeah, <laughs> you're just making two birds happy. You're not murdering exactly. Them. <laughs> and I can get I can get down with making birds happy. That's Unless it's sure. how I make a scone, which is too rock hard, and then you could use it to murder birds. That's so <laughs> then that. they just call those stones, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and, but we're back to the beginning. Um, so, oh, okay. I, oh, I got a good one finally. Oh, we got two. I got oh, I got several good ones. Okay, I got to pay attention Indeed. here. Indeed. Sure you got, got 50 seconds sure. left, players. We haven't had any responses yet. Look at them all thinking real hard. Thirty seconds left, players. Oh, there's actually some really good ones, audience. You guys, these are awesome. This is going to be so tough to choose. Please, if you if you want to second somebody, go ahead and reply to their comment and say, "I second this one." That that helps. Joseph is in, and so is Trisha. Just waiting on Jordan. Okay. Jordan, you have five seconds. Oh wow. Oh. Missed it again, Jordan. I missed it? You missed it. Uh, come on. <laughs> oh. All right. Number one, Verily Iron suddenly absorbs Narvoth's energy. Number two, Victor's imaginative solutions anticipate Narvoth's exile. And three, Voice is scorching assault, Narvoth ears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A lot of really good answers here. Make sure you guys get your votes in. You still can't earn points that way. Verily, iron suddenly absorbs Narvoth's energy. You know, some cold iron might be useful against uh, Fey. In, in Fortunata, it might also be very useful against demons. Victor's imaginative solutions anticipate Narvoth's exile. It sounds like maybe a banishment is in, is in <laughs> Narvoth's future. Yes. And voice is scorching assault Narvoth's ears. That sounds like maybe part of her hex is that she's got some banshee abilities. Uh, or, I mean, it's just the, the hex, right? The, the hex yeah. itself, the yep. bubbling sound itself is just so annoying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and especially in dragon form, right? If she's a yeah. dragon. I mean, right. fire comes out. Yeah. Absolutely. The, the it's bubble and the fire. Yep. Fair. That's absolutely. My favorite D&D &D supplement, the bubble and the fire. The bubble and the fire. The magma <laughs> dragon. <laughs> I like the use of the word verily. I think that's I do. That's bold and I, I enjoy that. It's Shakespearean, really. Yes. Yeah, it's I think it's really nice to just stay period accurate. Yeah. yeah. Right. Goes with my sword from medieval times. <laughs> mm -hmm. Audience, make sure you get your votes in. It's a good you sword. could be the one vote that swings it. Once but you again, only know audience, if you get a vote in. Uh, we're, we're choosing between just the two here because Jordan's answer was too good to be entered, clearly. Yeah. Um, did you have I one, Jordan? I blame the internet. Huh? Did you have one? I was working on it. <laughs> I, I had one, then I erased it, and I was like, wait, 14 seconds? And then... <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind, Jordan, you can always submit one, and if you think of something stronger, you can sub resubmit later on. Okay. Yes. Okay. You can top it. So always just throw in your right. first answer. Right. Got gotcha. you. I wish that the letters ended with FS so you could have just typed in 14 seconds and that would have just been the end. <laughs> 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 All right, audience. Looks like we have our choice. Yes. All right. All the votes are in. Let's see who wins it. Ooh, drum roll. Winner. <laughs> Is mm. the audience with yes. voice is scorching assault Narvoth's ears? Audience, we got to shout out Zulum for that one. She really, she really brought it. Well done, mm -hmm. Zulum. And because of that audience, all of the players voted for you. That means you earned three hundred points. So after our fifth round, in the lead, Trisha with four hundred and ten points, but closing the gap quickly is the audience with three hundred and forty. And Joseph will not be left behind. 261 points in third place. Jordan, uh, excuse me, Joseph. Jordan is now in fourth place, but you have 80 points, Jordan. So well done. Back on you the board. The right I'm back in back the game. Back on the board. Back <laughs> in the game. Back in the game. All right. Dog as always, 
<laughs> as always, Arakthar, it is your turn because the audience won when we get you the callback results in a plan to make a sound effect, oh, noise, nice. or line of dialogue. Oh, boy, I'm nervous. All right, it's time to recap. Meet Talia, a master of disguise on a mission to gather some magical components in the city of Iron Gate. We learn that the city of Iron Gate is the home of dragons and demons. It is a dangerous place. This fierce and confident warrior has a limp, but they also have a hex that has unearthed new troubles. As she struggles with the way she talks, an unfamiliar situation arises, and a demon has the component. Narvoth's her opponent. Oh, you want this? Well, come and get it. <laughs> And then, when the darkness descends, it is Narvoth who makes Talia a dragon. <laughs> and then, when a callback results in a plan, voice is scorching assault Narvoth's ears. Oh, you came in, got it. Take it. <laughs> Well, now we'll move into round six. We're still on hard mode, so now it's a triple point round. Oh, 150 wow. seconds. The round is called victory or defeat. We had a callback results in a plan. Does Talia win or does Talia lose? It is up to you to decide, but it's a rhyme time. And this time, eight words. And in these eight words... It must include a minimum of two rhymes. It can be more. It is up to you, players. But it must include a minimum of two rhymes in your eight words. You've got 150 seconds. It starts right now. Good luck. All right, audience. I need your, your best rhyming answers. We need to generate two rhymes. So as we determined last week, Kron, tell me if yeah. I'm wrong here. Nope. Go ahead. Two rhymes could still be just three words that rhyme. The Correct. same rhyme. Right, because you got two pairs technically. Just right. one of the pairs is shared between the pairs. Or so two loony, words, in fact. Bloony, it technically can be four <laughs> counts as four rhymes technically. Wow. A B B C and A C. So three so rhymes. A, as long as you get at least three words that are rhyming that could be the same rhyme or it could be two pairs of rhymes right. would also right. count or it could be all eight words rhyme if you're that brilliant we've seen and that before you. as well we've seen that before as well a lot is possible krantz says this one is so hard yes krantz is, is having trouble but i believe in you krantz i also believe in you pull from the depths of your experience and wisdom trust in your subconscious. To Trisha, first you. across the finish line. Well done. Dr. Delvin, I will not be choosing that one. <laughs> but that's kind of amazing. <laughs> and this Jordan, is you've got yours in as well. Well done. It good this time. Yeah, you got it this time. My best friend's going to win this one. <laughs> Do you feel good about it, Jordan? I feel so good about it. Like, I feel so good. It's to the point where I'm like, should I feel this good? But I'm not going to question it. It's so good you're questioning whether you should feel this good? Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little posture syndrome popping up there? Ooh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a strong one. Joseph, you got yours in as well. Still with I 44 did. seconds on the board. Well done. I thought of just waiting to the last second for fun. <laughs> just Honestly, to ramp I'm, up the anxiety I'm, and energy. <laughs> If, if I can call upon the audience to help me choose here, there's two really good ones. One from Krantz, one from Alyss. If you if you want to... Uh, I've chosen one just in case to make sure I get it in time, but if anybody wants to sway my opinion, do so now. Punctuations don't count as words, right? They do not. Ooh. I do like Krantz a lot. I like the Krantz one a lot. Oh, KP dubs. That's also very strong. Oh, gosh. I wish I could choose all of them. Time! All right. It's been chosen. Number one, her voice is power. Narvoth sours tragic mandrake. Number two, <laughs> voice screeches. Narvoth preaches, gives component, defeated opponent. Number three, in her quest for victory, Talia loses trickery. Number four, Talia spins a win. Narvoth lied and died. Wow. 
I don't. Am I missing the second rhyme in number three? Wait, wait. In her quest for victory, Talia uses. No, it's just one rhyme. It's just one rhyme. Yep. Unfortunately, number three does not qualify technically. So keep that in mind when you're voting. All right, audience. It's time to vote. Make sure you get your voices heard in the poll. Number one, her voice is power. Narvoth Sours, Tragic Magic. I like that one a lot. Voice screeches. Narvoth preaches. Gives component defeated opponent. Somebody decided to bring back the original rhyme. Well done. Why reinvent the wheel? Number four, Talia spins a win. Narvoth lied and died. We've got our players votes in. Audience, what do you want to win? Audience is overwhelmingly going one way, so I'm going to go ahead and choose. Yes, it looks like it's not going to be close. Yeah. It's pretty oh, strong yeah. there. All right. All the votes are in. Let's see the winner. Winner is Trisha Yay. with voice oh, screeches. Good. Narvoth preaches, gives component, defeated opponent. Trisha, oh, Joseph, and stopped. Jordan, and the audience, they all voted for you. Yes! I'm so excited! We got the villain monologue in. That's all I wanted was the villain monologue, and we did it. Great. Well, as you know, it'll be your turn again for the sound effect, noise, or line of dialogue. Uh, but before we recap, in the lead with 860 points, that girl Trish... In second, the audience with 460. In third, Joseph with 381. And Jordan be refusing to be left behind. 200 I points. I will not go. You will not. You will <laughs> not let up. There are still more rounds. There's still one more round in this game, and Jordan is going to win it. I'm, I believe in you, best friend. All Thank right. you, man. Thank you. You supported you me. Welcome. a lot to me. I, I'm very supportive. All right, it's a recap, shall we? Meet Talia. She's a master of disguise and given a mission to gather magical components in the town of Iron Gate. We learn that the town of Iron Gate is the home of dragons and demons. It is a dangerous place. This fierce and confident hero with a limp also has a hex which has unearthed new troubles. But I can only talk like this. An unfamiliar situation arises when a demon appears and it has the component. It just so happens to be Narvoth, her opponent. Oh, you want this? Well, come and get it. Moo ha ha ha. <laughs> then the darkness descends when the demon Narvoth makes Talia a dragon. Well, I'm a dragon. A callback results in a plan. When the voice is scorching assault on Narvoth's ears. Oh, my ears. Oh, you came, you came and get it. You did it. <laughs> and then victory or defeat. While the voice screeches, Narvoth preaches, gives component, defeated opponent. You see, my evil plan has these 16 parts. <laughs> oh, God, the voice. Just take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's time for our final round. But it's one last time to fuel the fire, and that means it's a wager round. So, storytellers, as we did before, it's time to wager. One reminder, if you're deciding to wager nothing, make sure you wager zero. Audience, you will choose what to wager in a poll very soon. Yes. I mean, it's kind of maybe clear what we have to do here to pull I this think out. It's, maybe, um, but we still got to ask. A lot it. of options. What are we? Four hundred points behind Trish. It's hard for me to read that on screen. Mm. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I don't like it when math is true. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is uh... why you took math class. When, when everybody's like, "Oh, what's this even for?" It's for this moment right now. For when you play a, a game show that's kind of like Quiplash and D&D. &D. You're going to need this someday on the internet. It's always been fascinating to me that math is a hard thing for people, but they they have a brain which literally computes math at su such a fast speed that you can catch a ball in midair. <laughs> I've always loved that little yeah. dichotomy of view. 
All right, we've got all of our votes in. Our wagers, excuse me, wagers. We got our wagers in. It's time for round seven, the lesson learned. Now, we're still in hard mode. So this time, I'm giving you 100 seconds. You only get 100 of them. It's a word cap. What is the lesson that we've learned with Talia, Narvath, and the component search? You're going to get four words. It's a word cap of four words. Your 100 seconds starts right now. See, what makes this round tough is the is that there are fewer words. The other rounds were escalating in the, the number of words. Right. But this round, you get, we've got to be pithy here. We've got to sum up the whole journey. One of my favorite words, mere four pithy. words. I think that's the big challenge. Indeed. Four words and less seconds. Ooh, A whole less 20 less bad. seconds. That's not great. I'm what just curious of which of the words? players are going to get across first. Trisha, first player across the finish line. Well done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It could probably be phrased better, but at least I got it in there. You have a strong choice here. It's good. Joseph, you were second. Jordan, you're in. Audience is in as well. We've got all of them in before we even had 50 seconds left on the clock. Well done. Let's see and vote. Hold on. We got, we oh, we've got, got time. We stuff. do. We do. That's right. We do. That's right. Chat, you can still resubmit. That's correct. And right now, I'll just say Zellums and Chats is, is, is my winner so far. So please, mm. audience, if you can top it, go for it. But right now, Morales is in with strong. Zellum. And all four of these words needed to rhyme, correct? What? <laughs> Actually, yes. every syllable of each of the words needed to rhyme. <laughs> oh, man. Right. I need at least 700 more seconds. <laughs> la, 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 la. Yeah. Oh, no, Pomo. We all learned that. <laughs> Three Ooh, seconds left bliss. on the clock. Strong. I'm excited to see what everyone comes up with. Oh, here we go. All right. Number one, <laughs> dead daughters can't help. Number two, <laughs> dragon voices are awesome. Number three, unique traits are awesome. And number four, an impediment becomes strength. Mm. Mm. Somebody mm. used a big word and I'm into oh, it. Oh, very good. Yeah. Becomes. Yeah. Big word. Becomes. I was thinking R, but, you know, everybody's I, That's different. where I was. I, I can't. It's a complex word. You know, I felt good about mine, but now that I see everybody else's, I'm like, ooh, baby. <laughs> that's how it, it could go so many plays. ways. It can. It really can. And it's a voting round, so that's ooh. let's make it even more, even more interesting to me. And it's 10 times the points, right? Uh, no, it no. is normal Did points. That this round. Okay, you made fine. that up. Okay, you cool. made that one up. It's, all right. it's enough for you to actually still be in the game, though, Jordan. Right, right. Was this all a part of my depends on how much you wagered, know. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, audience, make sure you get your votes in for what, which of the options you would like to select. Well, let me just say that those doggies are really, really racing oh, hard man. right now. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Jordan, I will also not... remind you to make sure you vote as well. Oh, man. You you helped me because I was I, not going to. I, I, I do help. So I tempted to make this lesson about dogs racing. But I decided to pull myself <laughs> back from the edge. <laughs> Chihuahuas are best racing. All right. Well, it looks like. Oh, we're so close. So close. Oh yeah, I think I think we got one that's really pulling away here. So I'm I gonna. See it. Oh no! Oh, There's yeah. a comeback happening. A good... <laughs> oh look at these doggies go! <laughs> Saint Bernard, the collar, the collar. I like how the dogs change every time. The race oh, is yeah. a different dog. Right. <laughs> every one of the dogs kind of shift dogs the other. Yeah. Oh, it's a real oh, no. schnauzer. Violence on the oh, track. Oh no, that dog has opposable thumbs. Bernard. <laughs> Dog's got a straight razor. Watch out. You can use your Getting channel points more than once, but okay. We've got a, a family and a job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the audience has voted as well. It's time to reveal the winner of the round and the game. Winner of round seven is Jordan. Yes. With yes. Dead Daughters Can't Help. They wow. can. Jordan. Woo -hoo! 
Joseph and the audience it. both voted for you, and Thank because you. you wagered 200 points, you won 300 points that round. Wow. Well, there you go. What there was your... Uh, tell us a little bit of where your mind was at when you decided Dead Daughters Can't Help. I, I really do feel like the, uh, the, the passing of the daughter was kind of lost in our story. Mm. Um, so I thought about with her being somewhat lost and dead, what did she contribute? And I was like, nothing. <laughs> so then we so she'll contribute the lesson that's learned. Exactly. So like <laughs> dead daughters can't help because she didn't. <laughs> so well, so Never true. Never After <laughs> our seventh round, <laughs> winner is Trisha with 860 wow. points. Congratulations. You win. This Thank evening, you. I bestow upon you an ember of our flame, imperishable, mad bragging rights. You win the game. Well done. Tell me a little about what your strategy was during the game and what you might offer to a future player and how they might strategize in their win. I just, you know, it's beginner's luck and a lot of experience with Mad Libs. Um, so let your inner Mad Lib player be your guide. And apparently read a lot of Dr. Seuss. Uh, a lot of Dr. Seuss and also fantasy adventure literature. Gotcha. <laughs> great, great, great. All right. And that's another story created around the bonfire. So let's recap our story as we wait for the Fortunata origin, the rare and legendary digital artifact we crafted together. Hopefully everyone remembers their parts. And remember, Jordan, you will have to add a sound effect or a line of dialogue or sound nice. when we nice. get to the lesson learned. <laughs> All right, this is Talia. She's a master of disguise and is given a mission to gather magical components to resurrect her dead lord's her, her lord's dead daughter. One of them is known to be in the bustling trading hub of Iron Gate, where our story takes place. She's fierce and confident, but has a bit of a limp. And we learn that Iron Gate is the home of dragons and demons. It is a dangerous place. Soon, the heart's desire is a hex, unearthed new troubles. She wishes to remove it. But I can only talk like this. <clears throat> An unfamiliar situation arises when the demon named Narvath has the component and is her opponent. Oh, oh, you want this? Well, come and get it. <laughs> then the darkness descends when the demon Narvath makes Talia a dragon. A callback results in a plan when the voice is scorching assault on Narvoth's ears. Oh, gosh, you came and got it. You came and got it. Oh, God. Then victory or defeat, the voice screeches. Narvoth preaches, gives component, defeated opponent. You see, my evil plan consists of these 16 parts. Oh, God, the voice, make it stop. Here, take it. And what have we learned? The dead daughters can't help. I was dead the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so glad uh, Jordan uh, got to do got to do one voice. That, that's that's uh, really yeah. what I'm happy about. It's all same, for, man. same. It Jordan, all comes well, together. Well played. Well Thank played. You. Thank you. Well played. Well played to all of our players this evening. Well done, everyone. Now it's time to announce our weekly contest winners and their cash prizes. If you would like to enter, please join the Heroic Story Discord. You too can be featured on Bonfire and win some of that sweet, sweet Skrilla. So first. Our weekly art community, or excuse me, our, our artist community was challenged to draw a mercenary character from a desert tribe that worships the sun. Mm. We have a couple of honorable mentions. Cosmu, Kit, and Madium. Thank you for your submissions. In third place with $70, Kuro. In second place with $100, Luna. And taking away our first place prize, a $130 prize, Hanya Yo. Guys, look, this is just a small example of the art that we get every week. It's it's incredible. Wow. Mm. We have some talented, talented community members. I really like that winner. I like the uh, the flare of excitement around the V. 
Yeah. Mm. I just like it does look like their shirt, their their shirt collar is very excited. <laughs> yeah, it for sure. really, really does. It. I uh, think it this shirt collar is on drugs. I, I was gonna say, I, I want whatever that that one's smoking. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. All right, now on to our w- winners of the writing contest. In third place with $70, Amy Gaffar. Revenge won't solve anything. It's only an obstacle. You're the chosen hero. But you won't reach your destiny until you do something about that unyielding hatred of yours. Ooh. In second place with the $100 prize, another regular, Miss Moynan with Drekis Var. The sun knows my deception, though. I will toil under its glare for coin to buy my family's freedom. Scrimp as I may, I never make enough. I may never atone for my weakness and cowardice. And in our first place winner, the $130 prize, QED42 with Kassar Aldson. The only blessing here is the intensity with which the sun punishes the worthless inhabitants of this place. As I offer my dawn prayers, I beg the Daystar's favor to return me to the land of our people to be with you again. Whoa. Mm. Indeed. So clear, okay. I just, because this wasn't in here, Ron, Kron, mm. excuse me, um, that uh, they were, sp- they were tasked with naming the character ah. and then, and then to, to write something that would maybe expose their flaw. So I Kassar see. Aldson is now the name of this, uh, you know, mercenary mercenary who likes to puff on the 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 magic weed. <laughs> the magic weed all right mm-hmm. kasar open shirt aldson that's right <laughs> they call him open shirt just open shirt sometimes get out of here open shirt <laughs> we know it you're is. so excited but get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> all right well i believe it's time to check in on the auction again well it won didn't it we, no we won we, we, we saw, check it. We saw that we won. uh one happen that. live all right well uh when you want to f- when our digital collectible is live make sure to head over to discord.gg slash heroic story if you would like to be indicated when our next digital collectible is live i think we are still uh waiting on the origin so trisha how does it feel to have the ember there forever sitting by your side i mean it's very cool i don't know if i should like keep my hand here like I'm summoning it or if it just kind of lives over my shoulder like a little flame familiar it's very it's, it's very uh Zelda yeah. right it's very Link oh, and Zelda oh, hello. Yes, hello, it is. Friend. uh wow. yeah are there any bushes it can try to burn to see if there's a secret entrance behind it <laughs> that's right I mean I would prefer that it didn't burn anything in my streaming room yeah that would be good that would uh, yeah be I great. understand that's if true. it a yeah. little self-restraint Number, just like a tiny bit. What if the um, burning of your streaming room opened the door to a new, bigger, better streaming room? Oh, oh. there's that. A chance. Is that a chance you're willing to take? Like, I guess the what, I guess the rest of my house. Like, is is my is my family okay? Oh yeah, they're fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. Okay, yeah. they love yeah. it. I mean, Me? I guess if everybody's okay and the ember burns down my house and gives me a bigger house. <laughs> there you go. That could be all right, I guess. I feel like it should it should reveal a keyhole that that gigantic key you have in that background. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? oh, she we're gonna the keyblade. Awesome. Oh. It is awesome. It's so big. I feel like it's oh. also a weapon. Heartless ahead of time, and I was like, oh, where are all my Kingdom Hearts fans at? There it How is. heavy is it? Okay. Uh, it's pretty heavy. It's made out of metal. Yeah, yeah, wow. like, yeah. The, the, like the, the ember is really, really trying not to upstage. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. I mean, get it, ember. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's an bad. execution. You ember, you're the new star here, not me. <laughs> you could take someone's head off with that thing. I love it. So each week, does the writer get an ember, or is it different each week? Uh, it is one ember each week. From cool. The so there are many embers in this flame, and you're getting Indeed. one of them. And you're getting one of them. Yay, Think of it like the you. Olympic torch, where you, yeah. it, it burns forever, right? In in solidarity of storytelling. It's That's pretty nice. cool. I feel very yeah. honored, and it was lovely to uh, get to collaborate with Jordan and Joseph and the entire yeah. audience tonight. It was a lot of fun. Indeed. What was your favorite part, actually? I would love to know what your favorite part of the game was. 
Uh, to everyone? Yeah, I yeah, will start with you, Drish. Yeah. Um, my favorite part of the game, I don't know, I really like word puzzles. All right. So I was into the fact that, you know, we had to come up with exactly so many words or rhyming or, you know, whatever the different criteria were to tell the story. Um, I think that that's fun. Great. Well, it's uh, definitely a new brought to us by F and Funny. Thanks, F and Funny, for making the show even better every time we do it. Uh, Jordan, uh, what was your favorite part of the game? Man, honestly, I loved watching the story unfold and uh, learning more and more about Talia and her world. Yeah. It was it was a good time. I enjoyed it. Well, you're welcome back anytime. Hey, thank Joseph, you. what about you? What was your favorite part? You well, I liked it when answer, it started Joseph. to... Uh, what's that? I said, now you have, to have a, you have to have a different answer than those two. Because those are two pretty good answers. <laughs> and how many words? Um, uh, <laughs> no, I really liked when the story started to kind of come together and her voice being a focal point. That was really fun. And then my second favorite uh, was Jordan coming in with the win and having that wonderful, wonderful <laughs> statement from the dead daughter, ironically <laughs> letting us know that she wasn't actually dead because she had come back to speak since... <laughs> Well, I think that was that was kind of I just assume that you built this in there, Jordan, but that yeah. like she got the component. So that right. w- would mean that she would be brought back to life life. And so the lesson learned is I can't help you, but I've been dead the whole time. I thought that was beautiful. A beautiful little wrap up. All of your answers are completely correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to say this story really did come together. It was it like, you know, sometimes they can go a little off the rails here. And this one really like you guys really did a good job calling back the elements that we laid out at the beginning and kept, you you know, it was good. It was really, it yeah. really good. He tied and the it all audience together. took some pressure off. The audience did great. Indeed. The audience well, was they're, very they're influential. Line, very so. good job. Very much so. Audience, we'd love to hear what your favorite uh, part of the game was. If you uh, don't feel like putting it here in chat, join us over on the Discord and give us some feedback there. We're always looking for more information on how we can better serve you in an entertainment purpose. So, Chronicle, why do you wait? Why don't we go to plugs? Oh, yeah, we can go to plugs. All right. Uh, Trisha, is there anything you'd like to plug? Oh, my goodness. Um, well, uh, if everyone is here on Twitch, you're welcome to come over and hang out on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Trisha Hirschberger. That is the home of the Dragon Riders. Um, I stream a wide variety of games, including an indie game showcase that's formatted as a game show every Tuesday. Um, and yeah, we're, we're just a, a happy-go-lucky crew uh, that is welcoming to all. So please come on by. And I think other than that, if you want to follow me on the other social media, I'm constantly doing on-camera hosting stuff in the world of tech and video games. Um, but the best way to kind of find all that, since it's all over the place, is by following me at that girl Trish with no I in the girl. So it's just that GRL Trish. So on YouTube and Twitch, it's Trisha Hirschberger. And everywhere else, it's that girl Trish with no I in the girl. Sorry, that's confusing. Nice. Trisha Hirschberger was too <laughs> long for Twitter and Instagram. So I had to short man really? but yeah Perfect. that's me come and hang out anytime thank you guys for having me thank you jordan what would you like to plug well uh you can check me out and the things that i'm doing on uh, instagram at the jordan r coleman um i got some acting stuff that's coming up i'll be in an episode of a million little things here coming soon i play dungeons and dragons you can uh we'll start putting that on twitch sooner then later, still working out some bugs with that. So hop over to my Instagram. I'll put stuff on there uh, whenever we get that rolling. And uh, yeah, watch TV. Maybe I'll be on there. Maybe it'll be somebody that looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joseph, what about you? What do you've got to plug? You can buy wooden swords at, uh, no, um, <laughs> you can find me on uh, all the social media, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok in particular is just my name, at Joseph Scrimshaw, and my website as well has lots of uh, comedy stuff, uh, comedy albums, and shows I've written for, you can find on josephscrimshaw.com. In particular, I think this audience uh, might enjoy the Adult Swim show I wrote for that's called Tigtone. There are two seasons of that on HBO Max. It is nice. sort of Lord of the Rings meets Legend of Zelda meets a Fever dream it is very weird and very fun <laughs> and if anyone happens to be a fan of star wars they also have a star wars podcast called force center that you can find in all the podcast places oh nice. yeah, lovely all right i think i hear the the chingle of our origin let's take a look this is talia 
Talia has returned to Iron Gate, a city of demons, on a mission to revive the dead. She trades for components with Narvoth, the demon merchant, but finds her voice hexed, vexed, and perplexed. He retaliates by making her a dragon, but her voice will scorch his ears. Her voice screeches and Narvoth preaches. His pleas and plans fail to prevail. The component is hers. The curse is broken. Dead daughters can't help. Damn. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. You all helped make that real. Thank you. Yeah. Yay. Very well done. Beautiful. Lots of rhymes. Indeed. Lots, lots and lots of rhymes there. Thank you to all of our guests. To the audience, to Cool B Cool Blue BTH for the art for Talia, to our talented writers in our Discord community, and to the Heroic Story team. We'd like to thank Delvin, our technical director, and our production partners over at F and Funny. Jen, you know these guys, right? Oh yes, yes, uh, my my doppelganger, this Sandeep Parikh, founded that channel. Uh, and he apparently streams there. So please, all of you head over to twitch.tv slash F and Funny. And if if you're into mirth. Then, then you might want to drop us a follow if that's your uh, thing, if that's your kink. Mirth is, mirth is definitely kink. my kink. That's oh, for I sure. Know. Mirth is definitely. Oh, we know, Kron. Yo, we I know. know. I know you all know. I love joy. I just love joy. <laughs> so join us next week. <laughs> link is in chat. Join us next week as three new storytellers and you, the audience, compete to weave the tale of Kassar Aldson. Our inciting incident, uh, incident is this. The exiled cell sword, Kassar Aldson, has been hired to protect a mysterious caravan through a dangerous yet lucrative journey into the desert of no return. He has little trust for those that employ him, but they pay too well to ignore. We'll discover it together next week. Next Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific Time, live here on Heroic Story at our next bonfire. I've been your host, The Chronicle, Ron Ogden. You can find me in all the usual places you find things on the internet at The Real Rogden. You can find me on twitch.tv slash The Dungeon Run on Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. PST, where I play D&D. And on behalf of my co-host, The Jin. Thank you for joining, and remember, your life's a story. Be the hero in it. And good night. <laughs>